Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm working on a little side project. Uh, this is a project that was inspired by a webcast that uh, I watch. It's a show called uh, Hack5, and uh, one of the hosts, his name's Darren Kitchen, he uh, decided to put a computer, a PC, inside of a picture frame, very much like this one here, right? These are two picture frames together, and the, uh, the uh, PC is gonna sit inside, whoa. PC is going to sit inside and uh, I'll get I'll get to more on that um, when I'm all said and done uh, but I kind of wanted to show you uh, some of the hardware that I'm using and some of the things that I'm using um, it's different uh, from the one that they built on hack 5 uh, but definitely check out uh, their video um, and also check out this video well if you're watching it I guess you are watching this video anyways um, the link, I'll put the link to their video and then um, you can check that out later. But uh, for right now, I just wanna go over the hardware that I'm using and uh, some of the uh, methodologies that I'm using and why I'm using what I'm using, what I plan on uh, doing with this uh, computer system, right? So uh, let's take a look at it right here. All right, so this is the system and uh, I basically, what I have here laid out here is the motherboard which is a Zotac 6100 uh, ITX motherboard and I've got the uh, Apivia, Apiva, Apivia uh, power supply it's a 1U power supply it's mainly built for uh, servers uh, it's a 250 watt power supply and then I have a um, external uh, DVD drive and that's for installing my Linux distribution which I will be using Backtrack 5. Uh, this is a 32-bit version. Um, so a little bit more about the hardware here. Uh, like I said, it is a uh, ITX motherboard. I picked this up off of Fry's after rebate. It came out to like 20 bucks, which is very cheap. It's an AMD processor, Sempron 140. It's a single core, not that uh, great of a processor, no frills. Um, it's like 2.7 gigahertz, which is fine for uh, what I want to do. The uh, CPU was a uh, leftover that I had from another system and then uh, the RAM was also leftover. This is uh, two gigs um, of Patriot memory and whatnot. Right, so uh, the storage medium, this is where it uh, sort of differs from what you saw in um, the Hack5 video. The storage medium that I'll be using is actually uh, an eight gig flash drive, right? So the reason why you're seeing it like this, all exposed like this, is because it came from here. It's the uh, Voyager, Flash Voyager GT, right? Was because it was inside of here, like so. And the only thing keeping this together really is uh, some glue, some like rubber cement type of glue. Come on, focus. Right, so uh, what I did to uh, get this out of here was that if you kind of pinch the sides, you see that there's like a little opening a little gap and so what I do is I just carefully gently ever so lightly uh, put a screw driver inside right kind of get that little opening and then kind of just scrape the inside um, keeping the screwdriver closer to the rubber part right and try to pry the glue out and you'll hear it kind of crackling and uh, do be careful with that. You could uh, mess up everything and ruin this whole thing. So once I uh, separate the glue, kind of, it's able to uh, come out real easily. And you just clean up the sides here and make sure to get all the glue residue off with some rubbing alcohol and whatnot. So the reason why that is, why I did that, was because I plan on, because uh, the USB ports, they're all so close together here. Um, I needed it so that uh, there's room for other things that I can plug in, right? And uh, be very careful when plugging this in. Great. Yeah, I'll just plug in that one. Right? Um, the reason why is because I plan on also using this for uh, storage. So I wanted to plug these into together like so right and uh, with this on there it's too fat so then I can't plug the two in together right 
And uh, the reason why I got this particular thumb drive is that it's faster than most thumb drives. It's not incredibly fast. It's not an SSD fast or uh, even a hard drive, notebook hard drive fast. The one they use in Hack 5, they use a uh, notebook hard drive. And uh, I don't have a, an extra one of those. And um, I'm only going to be running uh, Backtrack Linux on there. Anyways, so uh, yeah, that's the storage. And so uh, how I plan on connecting, I'm not going to use an Ethernet, even though I do have an Ethernet here, but that's just for configuration uh, for the beginning. Um, for connecting to the Internet, I plan on using these two uh, Wi-Fi USB adapters. So uh, I want to use one that connects to the Internet, um, general uh, connectivity to the Internet and whatnot. And then I want to use the other one for um, trying to hack into or uh, test wireless um, around uh, and try to do like, you know, uh, breaking into encryption, web encryptions and whatnot. And uh, doing a little bit of penetration testing with uh, the Wi-Fi here. Both of these um, have Linux drivers, so hopefully I can also run them in promiscuous mode and, and whatnot and do some uh, packet capturing and whatnot. So uh, those two I plan on running and I'll plug them in. Mm. Let's see. Like so. Oh. I have to unplug the optical drive. So it'll look something like this. Right? And the reason why I have to have this is because this little thing is too fat to run on there. And then there's my my storage medium. Right? So uh, yeah, that's a little bit about the hardware here. Now I'm going to go ahead and fire this up and I'll just plug in the power supply and uh, to uh, get this going there's actually these little jumpers right on the side here if you can see that one of them says uh, power switch right up on top here and uh, take a little metal uh, device uh, or metal uh, screwdriver and I'll touch the two to short the two out. And it starts up. All right, so uh, now we're gonna get into the BIOS and I'll show you now. All right, so while I'm working on uh, installing Linux, I just wanted to show you real quick uh, what it's all gonna look like when it's installed. Uh, basically, I have the power supply here, motherboard is here, and my little dongles there are all sticking out and stuff. And I'm not going to have a monitor installed because I plan on remotely connecting to the, uh, the device or the Linux distro uh, remotely wirelessly too. So hopefully I get that going. Um, that'll be in the part two uh, section of this when I'm configuring all the software and getting everything installed and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to have Ethernet because it's going to be on wireless and so really all I'm going to have is just this power here the power cable here and the power cable to uh, the CPU there and then uh, the power supply here in terms of getting this cable in what I'll do is I'll just have the uh, power supply um, in a little bit and I'm just going to take a jigsaw right here and then just cut straight down um, and uh, just create a little notch right there and then put the uh, power cable down in there. And then, right now I'm still looking for uh, some hinges. Um, there are the uh, outside hinges um, that go up on the top here, but what I actually want to do is try to find one of those uh, those uh, sliding hinges that on a, like on a display case that go on the inside there, those little bar things if uh, anybody knows what those things are called exactly or where i can get them please let me know they're like on a display case how they have a little slider thing and it just kind of locks up so i want the uh hinges to be on the inside hidden rather than the outside my only other option is i guess i could put some magnets right here on the corners or something and uh um snap into place but uh whatever it is i want the uh, hinges on the inside so yeah that's pretty much what it's going to look like. There's also going to be 
couple of light kits inside and whatnot. So uh, hopefully uh, in part two, I get the whole software running and going and I'll uh, have uh, more video on that. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Join of the Geek out. Peace. Just wanna show you guys my wound from the fan. Who says that working with computers isn't a dangerous job?